I'm very excited to share the second phase bottling of our bubbles. The bottles are placed neck down in a glycol bath to create a small frozen wine plug. The bottles are then carefully uprighted and passed through a water wash station. The bottles move into an automated station where the crown cap is removed and the wine plug is forced out of the bottle. We add a very small sugar dosage for balance and then the wine level is adjusted first by adding wine and then removing it to an exact level. We manually check to make sure we have exactly 750 mils in each bottle. The bottles will then pass to the corker station. The cork needs to be oriented, squeezed, and pushed into the bottle before it moves into the station where the cage is added to counter the back pressure of this sparkling wine. Six and a half turns per cage is required. It's very important to make sure that the dosage is evenly mixed in the bottle. The bottles move into an automated station where they're inverted to ensure this even mixing. This wine has been aged two years surly and bottles were riddled prior to the first step of this video, the glycol bath. There are many stages to creating a great sparkling wine, but we think it's well worth it. The bottles are passed through another water wash station and will be dried before they're set into a receptacle bin awaiting hand labeling and capsuling. We think that this Blanc de Noir from Fiddlehead Cellars in Fiddlesticks Vineyard is going to be an amazing wine with many years to come. Please join us in the tasting room for your first taste or visit fiddleheadsellers.com. We'd love to have you.